So welcome again to this uh, webinar, Peter E workflow towards Eclipse simulation. So we start by the review of the uh, simulation and its importance. So uh, as you know, if you are reservoir engineering or petroleum engineering, you will uh, surely know about uh, how to construct the uh, geological model then we go to the uh, reservoir model, which is simulation dynamic model. So uh, before uh, we start the geological model, we must have data acquisition from seismic to geology, uh, petrophysics, uh, from drilling and so on. So this all the data will allow us to construct this geological model. Then we go to the uh, dynamic model, which is our uh, task in, in some way, how to work with uh, having this uh, geological model, we can start to build our dynamic model uh, using uh, Peter Eller E interface. So for this uh, dynamic model, we may need the production data for reservoir management and surveys. We need to have this well test data, analysis and interpretation, such as uh, permeability, skin, pressures, and so on. We should have PVT data and characterization of the fluid, like we have uh, EOS. Uh, skull data on the routine, uh, relative permeability, saturation, uh, capillary pressure. And we may also use uh, some uh, information from the uh, uh, acidation or fracturing. So, uh, so uh, this uh, data acquisition uh, with dynamic model will allow us to, to make reserve estimation to do reservoir characterization. Uh, we can do a study of uh, uh, modeling, reservoir modeling. Uh, field development plan and the specific uh, simulation studies that we may need uh, to do. So uh, all the data gathered from seismic to abundant will be included in the simulation process. With the use of the software, uh, which is Petrel E, I mean, here we will not talk about Petrel in general, which is uh, uh, Petrel uh, general, which is related to uh, geology and uh, uh, seismic to model the seismic cube and to model properties by geologist or uh, geomodeler. So here we talk on the uh, Peter Eller E side. So you can include all this information step by step in the organization uh, for workflow in order to build the static model, uh, then the dynamic model, which is later to be used for history matching and forecasting to do our uh, business plan. Uh, so uh, in general, uh, we are looking to uh, to solve some uh, solution, to find some solution for uh, questions that the simulation can answer uh, by using this uh, workflow from Peter LRE to uh, simulation N. So how should the field uh, be developed and produced in order to maximize the economic recovery of hydrocarbon? Uh, this is the question we may answer. Uh, what is the best enhanced recovery uh, shame for the reservoir? When and how we can implement this? Why the reservoir, for example, is not behaving accordingly to our previous studies? So what is the ultimate economic recovery of the field or the reservoir? What is the type of laboratory data we may need? We may ask, we need them in the life of our reservoir. So we have to get 
some uh, data. Uh, what is the most efficiency well spacing? What is the optimum production strategies? When and how should we, should we, should, should we implement infield drilling? Uh, new wells, I mean. Uh, what is the best completion we might need? We need multi-branch, horizontal wells, vertical wells. We may know what, which region is producing. The production is coming from which sector, which portion, the, which region of the field. So, uh, defining the objectives of the study to be conducted and carefully starting the stating the questions to be answered is an important step in conducting any simulation study. So, the reservoir simulation study is only practical with laboratory uh, which can design and conduct some tests to address these questions. So, with time, more information we got this will allow us to make more refining for our reservoir and make update. So uh, what we need as data, geoscience, geoscience data, which is seismic, geology, petrophysics, drilling. In the reservoir side, we may need the porosity, fluid, contacts, pressure, PVT, scale, aquifers, uh, field production, and the injection, if there is injection. So we have also, we need to get the well data, well data, well schematics, uh, fluid rates, uh, bottom hole pressure, water cut, GOR, uh, gradient. If we have PLTs, we can see the contribution of each zone, how much it produces. So uh, having all this uh, reservoir, with reservoir modeling characterization, uh, we can, drilling and run so all the data, we can build static model, then dynamic model. So well, well, by then, by dynamic, we can manage to maximize the recovery, uh, know what is our ultimate recovery, predict the reservoir to make our business plan, to sell gas, for example, to know what is our uh, market, to monitor the reservoir in an efficient way. So in some way, we will be able to answer the previous questions by performing the simulation studies with sensitivities we need uh, in uh, our uh, objectives in general. So uh, the, to do this, we have to design our simulation study uh, before. So before start the work, we, we have to put the objective of the study, we identify the project. So description, project description should be drawn the following. So we have to make a clear statement of the main objective of the study. Then uh, we have, may have secondary objectives also we may consider uh, later on. The extent of the basics, the data analysis required for the simulation work can be started. So we have to prepare, I mean, like the data necessary for our study if we don't have it at the moment. So uh, required conceptual work, sensitivity studies, and use a simplified, a simplified model to analyze uh, the full study. And we may start by simple model, then we go to a full uh, study. And then we might have to know what is the cost of the study and the timing for that. So as previously known, uh, we have the static model and dynamic model. So in this here, what is in, uh, in black, it is like related to geological model which we, we call static model. So we may have included inside the depositional environment, the upsca upscaling. We have the routine, uh, seismics, the logs, the core description and so on. And what is in a simulation model, we, we go to co call dynamic model, we will include the well test PVT, relative permeability, uh, production, injection data, Q 
capillary pressure, and so on. So uh, this is uh, the, uh, like the old uh, uh, frame we use to, uh, to, to make the simulation. We'll see how to use this uh, in Petre. So uh, for our simulation, once we have our history match done, we may make uh, cases for predictions for different cases, and then we run our uh, simulation and see what is the difference between case one, case two, case three, and at the end, we'll know which case is more economical. So uh, the simulation is, uh, is like uh, uh, in Eclipse, we do uh, create Eclipse data file. This Eclipse data file, this Eclipse data file will, uh, it is containing all the sections from respects, grid, edit, props, solution, summary, and so on. And uh, so how to create this? The available data is included in all each section. So each section, we, we create its data and then will be used for history matching and prediction. So it is like this is the uh, previous method we use <coughs> to, to build this Eclipse data file containing all uh, this one. So uh, this is uh, this one that I created separately in separate files and, and so on. So uh, we will see how to create this using Eclipse. So uh, this is data file. So the next slide will uh, We'll go to this uh, Petrailer E, how by the end we will generate this Eclipse data file without errors. So uh, Petrailer E, uh, Petr software is the right software application for the asset team. We can uh, work uh, all together then. It's data flow from seismic to simulation. It's an organized uh, workflow that eliminates the import or, or and export of data between domains. So if you like, uh, you, you avoid to, uh, to import porosity, permeability, depths, maps, and so on. We, so uh, they are all integrated in this P-Trail. So we avoid to uh, get them uh, from somewhere else. So uh, the easy way to, uh, to send this data to the Eclipse, uh, easy access to other slumbers here, like Eclipse, Black Oil, Compositional, Front Seam, and so on, and then Tersec. So uh, this is like the, the shame. So the, we have P-Trailer e here. No, we have, this is the Muni of all, everything here. So we can make sample simulation model. Uh, as we can. We have to initialize, uh, for example, we calculate the volumes, and then we run with to see, uh, once we got our uh, simulation file, we run it and we can view on Ptrailer E uh, all what we want to view. So uh, we can see, we can do well engineering to add the new wells and so on. We have the option. We have the option to do the upscaling, we have to do additional modeling option like LGR, uh, for example, local grid refinement. So uh, this, uh, all the workflow is all in here. Uh, like you see in here, we have a rock fluid types, well test, uh, and so on, performance data, upscaling, then simulation and the reserves estimation. All this can be done inside uh, Peter. So the, as you see, the workflow is uh, uh, make, uh, we have to make the, our uh, like geological model. We do upscaling. We may add uh, well engineering to add new wells. And then uh, we view our result after doing 
our history match and uh, prediction or uh, if we want. Besides this, we have to know, we can calculate our uh, volumes. So uh, this is just an example of 2D or 3D view of the card. We can see them in the card. We can view, visualize. This is like cross-section, seismic. You know, this is the seismic. This is some wells here crossing. This is the layers. We can view uh, this one by using some uh, interface. So there is this interface, uh, user and PTRL workflow. So we have here access to pans. These pans which will allow us to, to, to make, uh, to do what we want to do. We have access to the pans. So the sub pans, we have windows, we have cross sections, we have a lot of, uh, uh, we have access to windows, we have uh, templates, we can import data. Uh, for the process, we have, we have the process file, process pan, we use this one to, to put our data and to build our dynamic model. We have also visualization and uh, charting. So we view the result. So the, by using these pans, we have it's an easy uh, interface uh, with user. So like import uh, data, we, we need, for example, as a reservoir engineers, to import the rock data, uh, skull and PVT data. So the skull data can be generated. Uh, if we don't have the data, we can use Ptrailer E to generate this data using some uh, options. Or if we haven't somewhere else, we can easily import them. Same thing for PVT data. If we generate them, we can import them. Or we can use, uh, this uh, to generate the data. So we import generation is done with use of the uh, process pan, process pan. The date will be shown in the input uh, after import data, data here, the data will be shown in the input pan after the import. And then we can check, check this data in the input pan. If it's well imported or not. So, uh, observation data also, we can import uh, our pressure and our volume. We have the, this option, we have template for observer data. We can uh, put all our uh, production data, injection data, water, oil, and so on. We use this uh, template as observed file to put all this one, and then this one will be used for uh, history matching. So uh, all this data, when we import them, we'll see them also in the input part. And all same thing for the MDT or PLT uh, data. Then we can see uh, simulation uh, analysis or result, uh, results. We can see the uh, PRT file. We can see the uh, output file after simulation. So we use the we use the function window. It's called function window to plot. So in here we can see the parameters uh, with time. And then. Uh, like we can plot the GR, we can plot the tubing head pressure and, and so on. So we may also have the 2D or 3D view for the maps. We can see the pressures, uh, saturation, can make a cross section, visualize the tra trajectory and so on. So, uh, Eclipse data file constriction, new way. This is the new way. So after using Peter LLE workflow, this file is automatically generated with no errors after export. This Eclipse data file will be run for the history matching and prediction. Same as Eclipse. So it is just the way how to uh, make this in the other way. So uh, this is the how it, it is done. So uh, we fill uh, 
the, this muni defines simulation case. Like this one, find simulation case. So we have to fill all this. Uh, you can description, grid, function, uh, strategies, result, advanced. And we may have also uh, to choose uh, some options like for transmissibility here, or we can put uh, our minimum pore volume and so on. And then we can export. When we export, this Eclipse data file will be uh, generated uh, automatically and then uh, without errors. But before exporting, uh, you have to, to make sure that everything is fine. So uh, now we, let's go to see some examples. So the software platforms. So uh, let's go back again. So this is tight integration. So this pro pre post processing with one environment. So we can see here the MUNI file home stratigraphy seismic structural. Please admit your uh, stop your voice. Your, Please admit your uh, micro. Okay. I am hearing some noises from yours. So uh, let's see here structural modeling, uh, property modeling, character modeling, reservoirs. We hear this one. We can use uh, this one for reservoir engineering, well engineering. This is simulation. And then we can, you can you see the perspectives focus the interface to give access to relative relevant tables. And then you can see a reservoir and production here. And then you will see, click here, you see the reservoir here. So uh, when you, you we see the, this immunity, it changed. When you click in here, you will see this uh, changing. And you know this this one is different from this one. And then here you can make uh, make contact fluid fluids uh, rock properties, and you can see all in here. So uh, to define simulation uh, at the beginning, we will know if how which, which software you use. We use so uh, before exporting. We have to choose if we are working in black oil to choose Eclipse 100 or 300 or front seam or intersect. Then uh, you export. So this is the software uh, Slumbergy uh, uses. So we drop our software here and then we export with a grid included in here. Our course grid, uh, which is the upscaled grid. If we use file grid, we can see the file grid here. So the, the interface, uh, you will see uh, general mini. So the quick access, uh, this is number one here. Number two, uh, this is the ribbon, like this ribbon we see in here. Three uh, display windows, Three, this is the window. Uh, if we display something, we will see it in here. And the pans, the pans I am talking about is in here. So the input power pans, you see the, if you click the input, this is the input pan. You click input and then others. We have templates, you have cases, you have uh, models, all the templates in here. And here down, which is the status bar. If we click right here, for example, if it is porosity map here, you will see the porosity number here and the X and Y uh, location of the cell. So mini tool, the textual mini accessible. And then you, you see the mini uh, and the legend, legend in here. You see the legend and you, you can uh, right click to see the uh, 
many uh, one or of all uh, properties uh, that we can uh, modify. Also for the search, uh, you can uh, search control F, you see you can uh, make a search and you, the money will take you directly to, uh, to this uh, search you want. If you oil saturation, you go, you search, control F, and then you go uh, to here. Uh, you have the input and model pans. So if we talk about the input pan, this contains all the imported data and all generated files not uh, linked to uh, to the three degree. So uh, you can see here the wells. The wells. And then uh, the injectors, uh, you have the observed data here. You have the top of the wells, uh, producer injectors, as we can want to classify them. In the models, uh, models we have uh, like coarse grid or fine grid. And for each one, you can see the properties, porosity, permeability, facies, and so on. Uh, so contains all, the, even the faults uh, in the grid, the zones and uh, properties. Okay. Uh, for the cases, yeah, when you create case or you import the case, you will see it in the in this one, case one, case two, and you can rename uh, each one of these uh, cases. And then when you click in this, uh, in a, for example, case one, when we click here, we may see the result of case one in here in the results. The results, we see saturation, oil, water, and so on. And dynamic uh, results, you can see them here. Pressure, gas saturation, water, oil rate, gas flow, and so on. So uh, you have to click in the case to that allow you to, to see uh, the results. And then uh, you can, when you click in the results, for example, if I click in the pressure, double click, I can see this in the 2D or 3D view. Uh, uh, we can have also workflows. Uh, we can uh, workflow one, workflow two, as we have to design it uh, as we want. Uh, the windows, uh, windows also, we have the windows, we have this cursor for, uh, we have the, the compass, if we have in 3D, we see the compass and automatic legend, you can click this one to get them uh, automatically. Uh, favorite uh, pans, the pans in favorite, you can, it is up to you if you want to have some repeated uh, work, so you can create pan, to avoid going on all pans, you create favorite pans like it's a shortcut to, to put uh, uh, what you want. Uh, you see, uh, usually go back to see it. So if you, you can put uh, the models and then uh, the results and case, for example, as uh, favorite. So uh, typical uh, processing, uh, is like this one. So we have the import or build new simulation grid. Uh, we have to define fluid rock properties and the boundaries. Uh, we have to, we can have to see the results calculation. We may have, uh, we can import or create ways and set completion by well engineering. Uh, you can make deliver well deliverability and field development also. You can field development this option here. We can create separator here. You can make nodal analysis with this button. EIPR, yeah. this one, and so on. So uh, by creating well engineering, this allow us to, uh, to do these uh, things in here. Create a new well, for example, new well. 
Uh, if we go to the muni of simulation, we see this uh, also this ribbon here down, to see the option of this uh, simulation. So we define and run simulation case and analyze the results. We do history matching and uncertainty uh, optimization. Uh, so uh, if we have to, if we have a project, objective seating, every objective has seating, okay? Right click, we display the settings, menu bar, right click to, to access uh, the pans. So uh, sitting, you can see this uh, muni and uh, put uh, sitting. Uh, we can uh, modify it for better visualization. For example, the uh, sitting of the wells, if we have wells producer or the injectors, we may change the style. You can choose here the color for each well, the, and so on. Uh, objective seating, static table, for example, for verification also, if we have property uh, and we have to know what is the minimum and maximum axis, please admit, admit your, comp to all, please admit, admit your, admit, don't talk, please. You are distinguishing others. Please admit, meet you. I hear you. Please mute your uh, microphones. So let's go back. So the, this is the table we can see like here, the uh, parameter uh, porosity. Uh, porosity, we have to see minimum porosity we have, maximum porosity we have, for example, in the X and Y and Z axis, in the old axis. And we may have some uh, description and so on. Uh, for the tables also, we have info tables. We can rename the objectives. The template can be changed. Uh, we can put some uh, uh, comments, design user input, the history tables keeps track. And then we, we have the track of all what we are doing in this uh, Petrel area. So for the visualization, as I said, we have too many windows. We have these 3D windows here. We can click on it and you get it. Uh, and then you import or you double click on the, what you want to visualize and you will see it in this 3D. You have a history window, histogram window also to see the histogram of statistics. You can have the map window. This is the map if you want to do uh, maybe like a bubble point, bubble maps, also something else. Plot, you can see the plots here, the statistic. The charting windows for the charts. Uh, you can have uh, also tornado chart, we can have, this is completion, you can visualize this, this is the well, and this is the layers, uh, and this is the layers, for example, we have property here, for example, we can display uh, porosity uh, in next to this well. Here you might display saturation, for example. So uh, this is in well uh, in windows, well section uh, windows. So uh, you can have, we can see this one. When you click uh, the option, you will see, see it is like bold. So uh, gray square, check the box to display the active windows. 
So when the active windows, you click here, for example, permeability. When you click in permeability, it will, it will be green, uh, black here, and you can display it in your uh, desired uh, window. So uh, for the project, uh, if we did the project, we can save the project, save it as as we can open the project and then uh, we can make a new, a new project. Okay, so uh, this is all the options uh, we have in uh, saving. Uh, once we have our project and we export uh, our data of uh, our dynamic data and uh, our including the uh, static data, when we send, so we have created three, uh, three folders. One folder will uh, uh, contain PET, uh, like uh, PTRAIL, PDT, uh, like for all what is structural and uh, what is uh, horizon and what is seismic inside. And this one, we have to see, we see all the data uh, related to uh, simulation and uh, our uh, reservoir engineering side. We'll see all these files in this uh, folder. So, uh, as I said, we can uh, export uh, keywords. Uh, so we fill uh, the, this one, open define the simulation case, then select uh, editing, desired case, and then we export uh, to, to get uh, our... Uh, once we export, uh, we have, will have, uh, uh, after running the simulation, we have the, uh, our case. Look, we have a, a shortcut for exporting simulation keywords, right click simulation case, pan and select either simulation export only or simulation run only or export and run. So this is the option after, if your, uh, if your uh, PTRL is connected to Eclipse simulation, you can run directly from uh, PTRL. Otherwise, you will run uh, separately uh, your Eclipse data file, and then uh, you will see the result. So uh, we can have the initialization. So initialize the model. Uh, we can define the, the grid. So uh, we define the simulation, define the case, and then create new case or edit it. we can edit existing case we can select the simulator so as i said before in our simulation case you name it case one and then uh, you select your uh, simulator and then before you have already uh, permeability and uh, x egk and we have porosity so you have to upload them in here. With this arrow, you, you, you go to you select your model and then you drop it in here. And then you will choose what is this, what you dropped here. So you drop it permeability, you have to in this, you choose permeability in X, Y, and Z. So uh, net to gross, you can drop it here. You can fault if you have. If you have local grid, uh, you can drop it in here and then uh, your export. But uh, this is the, your, uh, we will be operate, operate your grid uh, here. Let's see. Uh, so the, you can see here, as I said, when you click in one of them, you will choose what you want to, to put, what you want to drop by the arrow, you can select it here, okay? So the, for the PVT, for example, uh, this is the functions. You have a PVT model here, black oil model. You choose the black oil, and then you set your initial conditions and you drop them in, in here. Uh, strategies. 
for strategies, uh, strategies as they said, before exporting the case, the strategies are here, you see? So you have to drop the strategies in here. When you click in this one, you have to see uh, like something here and then you drop your strategy. So uh, here, uh, define a simulation case, strategy. Uh, so you can drop your strategy here. So uh, before you have to make the strategy, you know, you have, uh, for example, uh, history matching strategy and prediction strategy. So you, you have the two. And then you have in strategy, you have to, to select which software you are working with. So in here, you see producer and the words, uh, you make them here. And then you have some rules in this folder to, to, to make your strategy. We so yeah, for example, start date. Uh, this is the end of the, this is the, the rig, rig availability is not available in intersect. Yeah, this is, is not available in intersect, but others are uh, all uh, in, available in. Uh, so you have to say pre shares, uh, all uh, what you want. You will fill this table and then you apply and you put OK and you will do your strategy. So, uh, development strategy, the rules. You have to click in, in one of them and you will know what is inside, okay? So as I said before, this the rig availability is uh, not uh, in intersect, is only for intersect. Uh, so you can see here the, the rules, strategy, all the rules in the computer, in the software. So uh, when you finish, uh, you have done your strategy, you have to drop it in here. If it is history, uh, you drop it here. And if you do something else, you drop it uh, down. And you will see uh, here the grid you are working on. And you apply. You apply, it will be uh, in, inside. So uh, inside here, so the strategy as inside. inside. So after when you export the case, the strategy is included in this case. Then we can have volume calculations. So in Ptrl also we can do uh, volume calculations. It is like using formulas, formula, uh, not to gross, porosity. So the mean formula, uh, which is porosity, uh, like hydrocarbon uh, volumes equal to uh, uh, pore volumes times porosity times uh, net to gross or uh, uh, H, net H times saturation divided by BO to get surface volumes. So we can do it in this one. You can also change the units in Ptrl. Uh, you can change the units uh, or you want to, and the tables. Uh, so volume templates, open templates, uh, you, uh, you see the info in the tables, you customize your template, uh, what you want to do it as you, as you want it. In charting, you can plot all this, your dynamic data, you can plot all your cases and uh, your rates, if you have the rates, you have many cases, you have many options. I mean, in scenarios, you can plot them and see them. This is, the, for example, just oil rate. We can see the cumulative producing. And then you can make the comparison between uh, this. So there is also one uh, template. We can choose directly uh, the source, the case. And then uh, you want to choose field or uh, wells or group of wells here. And then you can uh, see the properties, what you want to see. If you choose here, production oil rate, you, you click only in this one, in one go, you can apply and you will see your, uh, 
uh, to avoid selecting uh, one by one. So you, we have the sharding, the case, if you want to see only one case or two cases, you just tick one of them and then uh, you will see what you want. So uh, here, here, this uh, mean results sharding. So it is this one, you can see this pan results, shutting window, you can click and see the inspectors and the conceptual tables and so on. So we can make plot so uh, by uh, using this uh, sharding. This is more detailed as uh, so we create new case or something, but we can go uh, from this one. So we can see this uh, in here, uh, you can see in the, in, the, in the menu, you will see all the options and when you click there and you, you can go further. For the trajectories, for example, if you have uh, trajectories of uh, whales, you can import them or you can create them using this, uh, this import. You can get well data trajectories, you will see one muni appearing. You will see well, what is in X, Y, and Z in columns, one, two, three. And you will see the columns in here, and you will uh, select which number corresponding to each column. And you can see the well trajectories details in my spreadsheet. spreadsheet. Uh, for example, you select here well, uh, P07. You select here P07, you will see where, what is X, Y, Z, depth, inclination, azimuth, and so on. You will see it in the, and you will have more details on your well. Uh, you can create new well. For example, create a new well, it's the easy, the easy way to just put X and Y, and then what is the Z depth? you can create your uh, in easy way you will and then you can visualize uh, this one so this one is you can find it in well engineering uh, muni general muni when you click in general and well engineering you will appear this ribbon what you can do all in this well engineering so you can add new well uh, you can uh, make automatic design this option you can add laterals by this button and so on. Uh, well intersection, yeah, you can visualize, make your well intersection like this figure. You can see the well intersection. So uh, you can click, right click, create intersection. It should be create intersection in here. You can then you can see in this in the model. Uh, completion, uh, completion design, you can design your well, you put your well here, this is the well, this is the top, uh, bottom, top, this is the reservoir, uh, top of the reservoir, bottom of the reservoir, you can see the perforations here, and you can add uh, your, uh, for example, if you want like this one is a porosity, you will see that the upper layers uh, depending on the, on the, depending on your porosity, uh, how it is good or bad. So uh, let's say this is good porosity in here for these uh, layers and this uh, yellow, and this one is bad uh, porosity. You will have an idea about your uh, reservoir and your uh, layers. So uh, you can manage this one, uh, completion uh, for each well, you can see uh, design each well in here. You can create a completion manager. You see borehole, kissing, string, what it have, its uh, name, the starting date of the completion. You see, you see it in here. So this one is in uh, Muni of Well Engineering. Uh, aquifer. We can also uh, attach an aquifer to our model if we have it. So an easy way in Ptrel, you just create an aquifer, you name it, 
and you choose what is your aquifer you want to put. It's numerical, Tracy, Pitkovich, constant flux, and so on. We can choose uh, your model you want to attach to your simulation grids, and then uh, it's, it is done in easy way. And then after you will uh, drop it before the export, you will drop it, as I said before, you will drop it and then you say it's an aquifer. So let's go first. This is the aquifer Tracy. This is also uh, local grid refinement. You can do it. Uh, you can do it to see, we can see the work, uh, keywords editor, more details, how to insert them. You can eclipse, uh, so uh, this one. Uh, so at the end, when you export, you see your data file here uh, well, for import. If you want to import your case, you have to select what is done in simulation before. You import it and then you can see it, visualize it with. So you import your simulation done before, you select your model and then click OK, you can import it easily. And you will see it in these cases. So as conclusions, uh, we have flexibility uh, use of PTRLLE with the interface, driven workflow allowing no errors, easy manipulation of data and projects creation, better visualization in results and different windows. We can export in one go and generate Eclipse data to run. We have to uh, save the project and secure the folders. And then uh, we have fast simulation update uh, after. So uh, I think the, this is the, the end of this presentation. See, all, all of what I said, we can apply it uh, in the in the Peter LRE uh, workflow. And you can get a more uh, easy uh, way and interaction between user and uh, so by these uh, conclusions, uh, I end my presentation and I, I allow you to, to, uh, to, uh, to, to ask some questions to answer. Any question? We have uh, five minutes uh, because time is running away. Any question? M may I ask a question, please? Yes, ask. Uh -huh. First, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for taking your time and this so, so important so on. But thank my you. question is related to, to your course. We are going to work on a particular project or we are going to work through it a tool. For example, we are going to work through the geological model, then we are going to the simulation or we are going to make a, a one project that you have designed for the course. No, uh, for our side, we'll have, uh, I mean for reservoir engineers, simulation engineers, you should have already uh, the fine, fine grid geological model, which is done by GeoModeler. So the, he will give it to you, uh, just geological model with properties. And then you will start to populate this model until uh, you put all your production data, your pressures, all what you have as information from your reservoir, then you will um, work on, on this to import this data to place them to in this to make strategies uh, and so on to, to what I said before we have to work on it then after you finish this one you can send this uh, export you can export all like it will be export all your fine grid and uh, your uh, reservoir data to one file, which is called data file. And this data file, this is the data file we run to get the simulation results. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I have a question, may I ask? Yes. We have five yeah, minutes, uh, five minutes uh, left. 
Yes, you can ask. Thanks for your excellent uh, talk. Uh, well, uh, you already talked about petrol RE. As we know, petrol RE is for reservoirs and uh, reservoir engineers. So it can do modeling, it can do a lot of things. So what's the benefit of using clips side? Yeah, it's more easy than we because if for uh, for eclipse as our our do, uh, way of doing eclipse, we use uh, separate fails and we can also before uh, we using uh, office office eclipse office. So it is yeah. a little bit uh, complicated to get data from here, put it here. So this uh, Peter RE is uh, more flexible uh, to work. And uh, what is the main thing is the way you will not progress if you do errors. So at the end, you will get your Eclipse data file ready to be run without errors. This is the main uh, importance. My, my, my concern, like we are going to work on Eclipse or just petrol will be enough? No, no, you should have Eclipse. Otherwise, you will not. You cannot run your model. You cannot run your simulation to get the results. Okay. So within X, uh, within uh, within uh, petrol uh, RE, we cannot run a uh, simulation model. Yes, you will be. You have, You will build the simulation model, but to run it, you, to simulate, you have to use uh, Eclipse, which is the engine of yeah. simulation. Yeah, yeah. Clear. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Any question? Three minutes left. Hi, sir. Do you hear me? Hi, yes, sir. Yes, hi. How are you? Uh, uh, firstly, I I want to I want to thank you very much for the lecture, and I want to ask you about uh, software. Uh, called T Navigator. Some yeah. people are saying, uh, some people are saying that it is uh, the future software in reservoir simulation. Yeah. So, as uh, uh, we are uh, beginner engineers in reservoir simulation, uh, what we choose uh, to uh, learn first, uh, Petrel or uh, this uh, T Navigator? And thanks. Yeah, I think uh, this one. It's if you are working in in organization, uh, company. So if the company has this tool, you can uh, work with this tool, with the navigator. If the company has the tool of uh, uh, Peter E, you have to work with this tool, Peter E. So uh, what is the available, you have to work on it. Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, for Peter uh, T navigator, uh, it is said that the process is the same as Eclipse. All is, is most the same. There is uh, just a modification. And there is one thing uh, which is important. It is talked then. They said that it is the run, uh, the processing, the processors are more powerful. So the simulation is run in uh, less time than uh, Eclipse. This is what I know about this. Thanks, sir. Yeah, no problem. So I have uh, another question, like uh, uh, the Eclipse, as I think the interface for the Eclipse is quite uh, com complicated as compared with CNG. After getting the uh, uh, yeah. uh, petrol, we might use it in the CNG or any that software can run uh, reservoir simulation, which will be easier for the users. Uh, I think uh, Peter is, uh, is uh, quite good. For, for as an interface, but uh, I don't know about uh, about uh, CMC. I don't know, have any idea about it. Oh, I yeah, I, I worked before in early two thousands. Uh, yeah. At that time, see, I worked with CMG, but there is no interface, so we it's a hard time to work on it. But now yeah, I think uh, it, it was I mean, you, there is an improvement. Yeah. 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 I think it's uh, especially for beginners, those that are newly in reservoir simulations. So, I think so if you have something available, work on it. That, that's it. So, uh, 
it's better you, you because it, uh, almost some things yeah the principles are almost the same so i think there is uh, one minute uh, i will thank you all for this attending this and i will thank you for your all questions i hope that you got some benefits of it and if you are lucky you can attend the course for, for five days to learn more about it so, could you so tell us, thank you very much. But could you tell us what's the next topic, next uh, webinar? Next topic will be the course, this course. It will be in five days, in five days.